honor and respects. This is Francisco Brujo Luis, and I'm doing a book review on a book that came out in uh, May of 2016, this year. It is titled, I'm trying not to get the glow of the book, it's called uh, Witchcraft, a Handbook of Magic Spells and Potions, and it's by Anastasia, Anastasia Grey Wolf. Okay, and if you look at the book, it is a hard a bound book, uh, really, really, really nice, it's got that nice uh, gold color to it, uh, it just came out this year, and uh, I was checking out this book when, it, you know, I first saw the reviews in it, uh, everyone that knows my videos, uh, or knows me, knows that I'm a, a spiritualist, but I've always, uh, I have this love uh, for collecting grimoires, and and uh, books on occult philosophies. I've always been interested in that. I saw a video review of this book on YouTube where this gentleman, all he did was yawn in the video. Uh, it was quite uh, annoying. Uh, so I didn't pick it up. I saw the reviews. Uh, some people liked it. Uh, some people didn't. And I was in Barnes and Nobles, and I picked it up. I saw it in my hand. I, I just love the cover. I love the feel. I love that gold. Uh, just first of all, I love the the hard cover of it, and I love uh, the gold letterings of it. And I'm just gonna do my review. I was uh, looking through the book, and. I really like it. Uh, the first page is a conjuration of the book. So you can see uh, how one would conjure the book. And there are, this is really not for people who practice uh, Wicca. Uh, this is more uh, witchcraft from around the world, uh, spells from different traditions around the world. Throughout the book, you will see a lot of uh, beautiful. Uh, what is it, cut out blockings, I don't know what you call that, of uh, beautiful pictures and just, just spells or magical uh, things uh, from around the world. And I enjoyed it. There's a lot of uh, spells uh, that are Native American and very Christian in element. I'm trying to, right here, here's one right here. I'm trying to get it so it's not so blurry. But if you can read it, it has a lot of Christian element. So I'm not sure if a lot of Wiccans would enjoy this. Uh, not so much that I work with spell magic, but I enjoy reading. Uh, you can see, I enjoy reading how people practice the magics from uh, various traditions. This is powwow spell. Okay, so it's Native American. It has a lot of beautiful woodblock uh, cutouts. For the art, uh, spells from China, a lot of Christian uh, spells. So if you're not into the Christian uh, forms of magic, I don't think this would be uh, a book that you would enjoy. I liked it. Uh, I was reading it. It, it. It's just, it's pretty interesting to me. You know, not that I personally practice any of this, but I've always had this love of reading anything that has to do look at the art throughout the book it has a lot of uh, beautiful pictures and and a lot of art i think the the book has 200 and what 74 uh pages some of those spells are crazy there's a spell on on how to uh, for a spell, I, I'm not sure if it was for gossip, you know, cut the head of a toad and 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 the feet. And I know a lot of a lot of modern day uh, pagans will be like, "Ew, what's that all about?" You know, and this is so stereotypical witchcraft. Blah 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 blah. I like it. Uh, I think it's beautiful. It it it's just part of tradition of. Where's this one from? This is a Gaelic charm. And right here, I'm trying not to get the blur of my, of, uh, as I'm recording, a Hindu incantation. Okay, so there's spells from all over the world against witches, which is very interesting. 
the art is very beautiful. Uh, for 16 bucks, for $16, I just found it, you know, I, I was looking through Barnes & Noble, something to read. Uh, this one's really nice. Uh, is this the one? If you can see, most of the spells are very Christian in element. Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. So there's a lot of uh, Christian magic. A lot of Hindu magic, Native American. Uh, I think there are some African American hoodoo spells. Again, I love, I love the pictures. I love, I love the woodcuts in the book. This is a, a really big book, so I, I, I'm not going to be able to show you all the pages. Uh, some people will like it, some people won't. I actually... <laughs> look at that. I actually uh, enjoyed this book. I was reading it. I found it very interesting. I found the pictures are very nice. And uh, I'm trying not to get the that Cherokee, a shaman, shaman spell. So I found it a very, a very nice book. And for look at the look at the pictures, for 16, 17 bucks. You can't go wrong. This, sadly, will be one of those books that will probably go out of print. And it would be nice uh, to keep in your collection if you collect uh, these forms of books. It feels good in the hand. The, the gold coloring is really nice. Try not to get the blur so that you can see some of the, the spells that you find within the book. It's not really uh, meant for Wiccan. I, I would say it's more for traditional witchcraft, uh, whether it's uh, Strega from Italy, uh, traditional witchcraft of England, Brujeria from uh, South America, Latin America. There are Hindu magic spells, Chinese magic spells in this. 80% uh, of it is Christian magic. So if you're not into Christian, uh, most of the incantations and most of the prayers are very Christian. Uh, it reminds me of those books by Draja, I forgot his last name, Draja. I'm sure you all know who I'm talking about. But again, it's a hardcover book. Look at that, really nice. Very nice for the, to add to your collection. And I highly recommend it. I, I enjoyed it. Some people won't like it. I enjoy grimoires. I enjoy spell books. Uh, a lot of my collection. I have a lot of spiritual books, a lot of prayer books. And I've always had this interest in occult and, 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 and magic uh, from around the world. I, I love to uh, understand how, uh, you know, people viewed magic in different parts of the world and how they practice magic. So a lot of people in the new age communities are definitely not going to like the spells within this book uh, because there are some ingredients that are just like, you know, uh, bat's wings and, and eye of newt, I guess, you know, you can call it that, eye of newt and whatever. But, and there's also a lot of uh, Christian... Uh, uh, Christian prayers, you know, Christian uh, incantations. So a lot of people who are not into that are definitely not going to enjoy the book. So I, I see why uh, many people who practice, I guess, uh, neo-paganisms, neo-pagan traditions or, you know, those types of traditions are not going to enjoy the book. But for those who practice uh, hoodoo, a brujeria, I think, uh, I think they will enjoy the book. Uh, there's some gypsy spells in here to exercise a bewitched child. 
I think uh, a lot of people will enjoy it. Not all, not every brujo, not every witch, not every strega is Wiccan. The images are very beautiful. And it's like 270 something pages. I'm trying to record this with one hand. But yes, I highly recommend this book if you're into uh, spells from around the world, uh, if, you, if Christian magic doesn't bother you, which it really doesn't bother a lot of uh, Hispanic uh, brujos or brujas, uh, witches, or people who practice strega, or people who practice hoodoo, uh, they will enjoy this book. It is uh, very witchcraft. I highly recommend it. Uh, if you're into these types of books, if you collect grimoires and spell books for 17 bucks or so, hardcover, beautiful. Look at that. It's just a really nice cover for $16, 272 pages. You really can't go wrong. It's first edition. It's something that you'll probably uh, collect and it'll probably become a classic someday. It's not really, uh, what is it, Llewellyn, what Llewellyn, you know, the New Age Movement uh, company would publish. But I highly recommend it. If you like this video, uh, please hit that like button. Please leave a comment down below. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I hope you enjoy this series on my collections of grimoires. I will be also doing more in the future. But again, yes, I, I liked it. And I liked the pictures. And I liked... Um, I just found it intrigued, interesting to read. It's nothing deep. You know, there's no philosophy in this book. It's just straight up magic. This is not for anyone who's beginning any form of witchcraft or brujeria or anything like that because all it is there's uh, voodoo dolls I guess spells on voodoo dolls so yes I mean I hope this writer I think her name was Anastasia I forgot her name I think her name is Anastasia read that okay right there Anastasia Grey Wolf I would highly recommend it I hope she does more books on this in the future more books in the series if you collect books that are hardcover and I highly recommend it I hope you enjoyed this video Sansista Blue Luis